everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on this video today i am back once again with a client makeup look so if you guys are new to my channel and you're not subscribed please make sure to subscribe before we get started all right you guys so first up i'm using my so very refine and protect three in one hydration skin treatment primer you guys know that i love this and i find it to be so hydrating on anyone that i use it on and shout out to my model for today her name is Sile, and she also has a channel here on youtube so i'll make sure to link her channel down below so that you guys can check her out and subscribe to her channel as well so as i was saying you guys i love this product it's really hydrating to the skin and it's really beautiful underneath the base i make sure to apply it on her face and all over her neck as well because i do apply foundation on the neck so i wanted to make sure that the entire base the neck and the face is treated well next up i'm going in with my sobe hydro skin lip therapy and i just applied this on her lips using a brush i wanted to make sure that her lips stay hydrated as i was doing her makeup and by the time i reach the lip part that they're nice and soft and hydrated so for foundation today i'm using my maybelline 30 hour super stay foundation in the shade caramel I first applied this on her face using my finger and I just dotted it all over her face and then I just went in with my beauty sponge which is from Sobe and I applied this foundation blended it all over her face making sure that it looks beautiful and nice you guys I always say this that um, the base for me is the most important I always take my time when I'm blending out foundation. I feel like if you have the base sorted out and then the rest of the face comes easily and you don't even need to put on eyeshadow, if your base looks beautiful, then that's it for me. Hence, I spend so much time blending out my foundation and just taking my time, making sure it looks beautiful. So I always say this as well, that if you want something full coverage, first go in one layer and then if you feel like you need more coverage and then you can just add more foundation and now over here i am using the product on her neck as well like i said earlier i want to bend it out on her neck so that it just looks beautiful and seamless we don't want to see that harsh line between the neck and the face now for concealer i used my la go pro concealer in the shade cool tan I use my concealer brush to apply this underneath her eyes so that I can just cover up her dark circles. And then I use this concealer on her chin just for highlighting purposes. And I use it on her forehead and I use it down the bridge of her nose as our highlight when we're doing the nose contour. After that, I went in with my Alila palette. This is a foundation palette and I went in with a dark foundation in the shade bronze using the same brush i applied it on her cheeks and i applied it on her forehead and i also used this shade on her nose as the contouring part of her nose contour now when i was done applying all those things i took my beauty sponge and you guys i always use my beauty sponge wet just for information purposes and i just use that beauty sponge to blend everything in place like making sure there aren't any harsh lines that you can't see that brown stark line on her cheeks making sure that the concealer is blended beautifully underneath her eyes like i said you have to spend your time you have to be a little bit more patient not be in a rush to finish quickly because if you do that then you might have like a base that is not so flawless also a little trick that I learned from other makeup artists and like trying it out myself if you want your concealer to be a bit more full coverage you have to leave it on for like a few minutes and as it dries down and you blend it afterwards it's going to give you that real full coverage. Now I'm going in with a small stippling brush. I love using this because I feel like it helps get into the, the like nooks and crannies of the face, like deep in the wrinkles. It helps with the blending out. So whenever I use my beauty sponge, I like to take a much smaller brush to help with the blending as well. And that's what I'm doing over there. And now to set that in place, I'm using my Sobe Powder to You Loose Powder in the shade Translucent. And when I do this, I just apply it 
lightly with a brush or with a beauty sponge underneath her eyes and i don't really like to set the rest of her face straight away i like to go for underneath her eyes if i know i'm going to be applying eyeshadow so that's what i'm doing over here and make sure to use a bit of that leftover product on that brush just around her nose and around her mouth and i felt like i had a little bit more of that product left from applying it around her mouth and then i just use it on her forehead just a tiny bit and i also like using a brush because it's really not densely packed like a beauty sponge so that's just what i'm doing over there and i also make sure to set the eyelids because i had already applied concealer and foundation on her eyelids so i'm just using the brush to set everything into place i also like to set the brows because when you apply a product on oily brows it looks so much darker so if you want to avoid that you have to apply a bit of powder because it really helps with that Now I'm taking a beauty puff, no, I'm taking a powder puff, not a beauty puff, and I am applying the powder directly underneath her eye because I want to um, do her eyes so that will help with catching any of the fallout from the eyeshadow. But first up, I'm going to do her brows and I'm going to be taking my Alila eyeliner. This one is just a simple eyeliner. You can take any eyeliner you have and it's in the shade black. And I'm just using it to fill in her brows. Um, the model that I was using today had really good brows. So I really didn't struggle with filling in her brows. But I made sure to use a very light hand. Because I didn't want them coming out looking dark. So I use a light hand and I just fill them from the front going towards the back. And I make sure to use my spoolie to brush it upwards so that I can blend in nicely. And it's just a back and forth honestly you just go in at the bottom you brush it up with the spoolie and if you see any other place that you feel like needs to be filled in you just go in with that pencil again so when i was done with filling in her brows i really wanted to have a clean look to the brow so i took concealer which is the same one i used earlier and i just used a concealer brush and i used that to clean up underneath her brows Afterwards, I went in with that stippling brush I was using to blend and I just blended it out nicely because I don't like leaving a harsh line underneath the brow because usually whatever product I use is way lighter. So I don't like to leave it looking like that. And now I'll go in with my Take A Brow Pocket Brow Bar and I just use this at the front of her brows because this has a very light shade to it and it's much softer than going in with a pencil. So that's just what I did, making sure to fill in the front part of her brow. And like I said earlier, I fill it in and I just brush it up with my spoolie as well. One thing I like to do, since I do not have a brow gel, I like to use my hair products and I just apply it on my spoolie and I just use that on my brows. So now I was done with the brows, it was time to do the eyeshadow look. First up, I'm using my NYX Perfect Filter Professional Palette. And I went in with that orange shade because even though I was doing a smoky eye, I really wanted to have depth to my smoky eye. I didn't just want it to be a black shade. So I went in firstly with that orange shade and I applied this on the crease using a fluffy blending brush. And now you see me here applying more of that orange shade, making sure to focus on the crease and blending it out so that it doesn't look so harsh on the eyelid. And I just keep on blending until I am happy with the way it looks. Now I'm going in with my Morphe 24G palette and I am going with three shades. These shades do not have names or if they did, it's probably like that translucent plastic sheet that they place, which I already lost by now because I've had that palette for so long. But I went in with three shades and all those three shades were different varieties of brown. I first went in with the lighter brown and I just used that 
on the upper end of that orange because I wanted to blend it out nicely and then I dipped my same brush into the next shade of brown and I just kept on blending on the edge and now here you see me taking a different brush which is clean and I just use that to blend the outer edges of my eyeshadow because I didn't want it looking as harsh as it was looking so I just blend it out nicely after I was done blending all three of those brown shades and making sure to go in with a clean blending brush afterwards, I went in with my Morphe palette. This one is the 35P Plum Pleasers palette and I went in with that black shade. So I took a completely different brush for this. I dipped it into that black shade and I applied the black shade starting from the bottom of the eyelid closest to the lash line and I just slowly blended it upwards because i didn't want it to go as high but i wanted to have control hence i was doing it like step by step and i was just blending in circular motion outwards making sure that i don't go up too high and basically that is what i was doing after i was done applying that black shade i went in with that brush i was using for those brown shades and i used that to apply on the outer edges of the black i didn't take any more product i just used that brush with whatever was left over on it and i just blended it honestly you guys doing a smoky eye is all about blending that's all it is it's just blending and blending because you want it to look beautiful you want it to look seamless and after I was done blending that brown which was left over on the brush, I used my clean brush again and I use it on the outer edges of that eyeshadow, making sure it looks beautiful, it blends in with the rest of your face, it does not look harsh. So I was done with that part of the eye and I just used my brush which I had used for my powder earlier to dust off anything that had fallen now I'm taking this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the shade Blackout. I actually forgot to show this on camera but this product I really 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 love and I think it might be, okay I'm not going to say waterproof but I noticed when I apply it at the back of my hand and I try to rub it off it does not smudge at all which is so incredible. So I think it's meant for the inner part of your eye. If water comes on it it will not smudge until you really wipe it off and then it gets removed all at once. And then afterwards, oh, I actually used that um, shock wave on my waterline, on my client's waterline. And then afterwards, I went in with that brown shade from the 24G palette using a pencil brush and I blended it downwards, making sure to connect the lower lash line to the rest of the eyeshadow. And then I took a much smaller pencil brush and I dipped it into my black and I aligned the bottom part of that lash line and then I went into that first pencil brush and I used it to blend that black shade down using a bit more of a brown shade like I said earlier this is all about blending I just kept on blending until I was really happy with the way it looked making sure to connect the lower line with the rest of the eyeshadow and now I'm going back into that shock wave from LA girl and I applied it on her lower lash line but after I applied it I realized that it looked a bit too dark and it needed to be blended out because it didn't look so seamless anymore then I went in with my pencil brush, the one with the brown shade, and I blended a bit more, making sure that everything looks beautiful and seamless. And afterwards, I applied the lashes off camera. Here I was showing you guys the gold that I had taken from the NYX palette. So I took that gold shade and I used it on the inner part of her eye and i really love how that gold really helped the whole look pop you know because sometimes or well, mostly i never use a gold shade when i'm doing a smoky eye but today i decided to go in with a, a gold shade and now i am taking my beauty treats bronzer palette this i bought from Discam, and i used that bronze shade which has really like gone out but i really like the way that it looks on people and i really like the way that it looks on myself as well 
and I feel like with this one I can actually see it on the client when I'm applying it so I used a bronzer brush to apply it just um, everywhere that I had applied that darker contour shade earlier on her forehead on her cheeks and around her jawline and a bit down on her neck as well And then taking the same eyeshadow brush that I was using, I dipped it into that bronzer shade and I applied it on her nose contour just to set that darker foundation I had used earlier. And I used my beauty sponge to make sure everything blends in beautifully and seamlessly because we do not want harsh lines. And now for blush, I'm using my favorite blush which is the Maybelline Master Blush Palette. And I just used that pink shade on her cheeks and I also love to use it on the forehead as well and on the chin and I apply a lot of blush you guys know because I feel like it's so flattering and today's highlighter I'm using the mega glow highlighter from wet and wow this highlighter is so beautiful it's like a nice not even shimmer it's like a glow you know like when you looking at the person you can't really see it which is why i love it it looks beautiful on people without it being too glittery you know so for the lips i'm going in with my favorite lip liner which is the la girl lip liner in the shade chocolate i'm desperately running out of this one <laughs> and i just use that to line her lips making sure that it's nice and clean and precise. I love this lip liner, it's beautiful. And it applies so creamy. And today's lipstick is actually one of my favorites as well. It's the Mark Liquid Lip Lacquer from Avon in the shade Dare to Be Bare. And I'm using a brush to apply this on her lips, making sure to blend it beautifully with the lip liner. And I just blend it in making sure you can't really see the line from the lip liner you just blend it in nice beautifully and seamlessly and now to top that off and finish the lip i use my essence shine 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 wet gloss in the shade i actually don't know what shade this is you guys because it says rubbed off because i use this quite a lot and then last step i used my the body shop the rose a dewy glow and that was it for the makeup look you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys will be subscribing i hope you guys comment down below and tell me what you thought of this makeup look i really enjoyed doing this on the model thank you so much you guys for watching and i will see you guys on the next one